Okay, today we're going to look at adding and subtracting negatives. So let's go ahead and start at this first question. I know this, this whole thing may seem a little bit intimidating, but we're going to work through each and every one, and uh, hopefully they'll make sense to you. So the first number here is uh, 22 minus 42. Now, as you can see, the smaller number is actually on top, whereas the bigger number is on bottom. And what I like to do in this kind of situation is I like to flip it. So I like to put 42 on top and 22 on the bottom. And that way we can subtract 2 from 2, that will be 0. And 4 from 2 will be 2. So the answer will be negative 20 because we flipped it. Now another way to do this question is you can see that this could also mean 22 plus a negative 42. That's another way to look at this question. It's the same thing. So what we have is we have a negative 42. We have a minus 42 and we're actually adding 22 to that. So the number, it's not going to be positive because 42 is the bigger number and, and 42 is negative. So the answer is going to be negative. But uh, to solve for it, the easiest way is to flip it and then make sure you remember to put the minus sign in there because the answer will be negative. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. 16 minus 35. Oh, we see immediately the bottom number is bigger than the top number. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip it. 35 minus 16. We say, oh, we can't subtract 6 from 5. So we're going to borrow from the tens place, making that 15. 15 minus 6 will be 9. 2 minus 1 will be 1. And don't forget the negative, because we flipped it in the beginning. So the answer will be negative 19. So now we see here 15 plus a negative 5. And what the heck is this parentheses here? Now, sometimes professors won't write the parentheses in, but uh, so, you know some teachers like to do that to, to make it look a little bit easier in the eyes. Otherwise, we have a plus and a minus and close together, and it's kind of confusing. But uh, if your professor doesn't do that, you know, just realize it's normal. If your professor does, then it's normal as well. So here we're seeing 15 plus a negative 5. Now this is actually equivalent to 15 minus 5, which will be positive 10. Now let's, let's look at this question here. Negative 8 plus 61. And the thing that you can do in math problems, which is really great, is you can rearrange these uh, numbers. So I'm going to rearrange this to for 61 minus 8. It's the same thing because 61 is positive. We have the positive here. And we're actually adding a negative 8, which is the same as subtracting 8. And here, borrow from the tens place. 11 minus 8 is 3. The answer will be 53. Now let's move down here. 45 minus a minus 62. Now when you see two negatives together, this actually makes a positive. Two negatives makes a positive. So this actually is the same as 45 plus 62. And we know how to solve for this. 5 plus 2 is 7. 6 plus 4 is 10. Your answer is 107. Now here we can see it again, 652 minus a minus 65. So since we see two negatives, that will make it a positive. So 652 plus 65 will give us 5 plus 2 is 7. 6 plus 5 is 11. 6 plus 1 is 7. Okay, now we're getting confusing here. Negative 32 minus a negative 39. So let's first do what we know. We know that negative times a ne or, or negative and a negative 
this will be a positive. So we have negative 32 plus 39. And now we can go back and we can see, okay, how did we deal with, with negative numbers when we're just adding positive numbers? And this is the same as 39 minus a 32. And that will be 7.